It's uh, it's so interesting uh, for all this for all this that happened in this game. But guys, welcome back to another Red Dead video today. And uh, we're currently we're at the uh, factories. We're at the city now, boys. Uh, we made it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have some missions we're gonna go do that we left off. We left off at the city. We start the video right here, starting up chapter four. This was the first three missions of chapter four. So. I just ran over somebody. Freak! Oh my god. That's gonna suck. So, let's go, guys. Let's cut the scene play out, and I'll be right back. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in on. <laughs> I love the music just stops. It's, I love it. Everybody's just staring. Who who is this guy? Like <laughs> funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorn for you. America's <laughs> doing me. it in a French secret. <laughs> that's why we hey, bro. born and raised. Ooh. Well I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed well, away. I'm sorry, please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. How is it? Dollar, so I guess he just thinks I'm a whiskey man. A whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. Uh, guys, it's kind of cold in my house, so I got, I got a sheet and I, that's uh some cover. I'm just trying to get warm. That's why I'm doing all this moving. Oh God, we're banking our food. We could do some more stuff to the count. You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. That's crazy. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. There's an Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. All right. Ask him around. Oh, hey, friend. You, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Immigrants. Oh. That's a guard. There's too many guards and stuff around here, guys. Are we going the long way or? Okay, we can go right here, can we? Ah, oh, I know that hurt. All right, gonna mess with some kids. Hey, <laughs> hey, you got a cigarette, Mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tally. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, bye, Brad. Here. Come on. Looks like Listen, more than five. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Hey, boys. Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. I just get... You knew I get say, ambushed mister? about this, uh, Pretty by these much. boys. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. We're gonna change our outfit the too, guys. We're gonna get that uh, Virgin, take these clothes off. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, Mister? Look how long my beard is now. Catholics here, Mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh. 
bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from. Is this mister? off of uh, Assassin Creed? Fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shit. Where'd he go? Okay. Get going. He's coming after us. What the heck? That kid is going. Is my horse too far away? And I'm hungry. I don't want to cause any commotion. Like, oh my god. I don't want to get, like, steal nobody's horse, but, like... Cause I don't want to be the cops that, like I don't have nothing on me in this. I'm gonna have to do it. Oh never mind. Master got off. Damn free trash. You up for that kid? Other shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know I kinda miss old Bob Tails. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why yes we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister! You better stop right now! Hey! Moron! Come on, Arthur, you're faster than this. I stand was gonna be gone. Bye, mister! <laughs> I tried to jump over there at first, so they basically cheated me. I had to get that animation. Just give it up, farm boy! I'll kill you! I can't jump over there. Let's thank you. Are you serious? Just give it up, kid. Golly. My Get out of my way. Be quiet. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Since, fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15. Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. I knew that they was gonna try and ride us. Rob uh rob me. Are you serious, Arthur? Arthur Morgan! I think he really misses his wife. What's the problem, Fred? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. Well, that was interesting, guys. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there he is. Alright, where are Grab you, you guys? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. 
Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Hi right, guys. Whoa. Okay, that kind of scared me. I thought was my uh my console turned off. <laughs> like, ooh. Alright guys, we did another mission. Apparently we got two. Uh, I want to appreciate everybody that has been watching these videos. I really uh, appreciate it guys. Really thankful. We came a long way so far. We're on chapter 4. We have one more chapter after this. Then we'll be done. Alright, where's Dutch at? He's right here. Okay. So this, I guess this is this guy's house, so let's play him a visit there and see what he's got to do. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of Remember guys, they dropped kind of lost. We wanted to get this guy because they took the the Braithwaite woman, Miss Braithway. She took the she get uh took Jack and gave Jack to him, Angela. So I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Can we go in? Alright. Oh yeah, I gotta go in last. Okay. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten that a a Does he have a mask on? Oh no, he doesn't. Okay. Alright, let's cut scene play. I'll be right back, guys. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some 
inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. <laughs> That's the embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Well, guys, we're finna go do a job. You know what I'm saying? So, just get on into it. We always gotta do something with jobs. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. We're gonna change our outfits when we get back to camp, too. None, I guess. This is idiotic. I feed my horse. My horse kind of, uh, kind of hungry. This way. For grave robber robbers. Go up. Hey, wait, wait, wait. All right. Let's see what's going on. Oh, hold on. There's one. He was just in front of me. Where'd you go? Were you a cuz? Okay. Don't like this at all. It's kind of scary. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook. Hey. Did you hear that? Shh, shh, shh. Boy. Well, they can't be far. Let's keep going. Here's somebody coughing. Stop. And we ain't no we not scared. Where you at? to drink. My friend died. Guess he's not doing anything. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. They shouldn't be in the cemetery at night, bro. You should get yourself home. Yeah. I'm gonna check over here. Get back on the main path because I saw a clover bust it. Let's eat some. Who are you? Who are you? Okay. That was that was totally weird. I need something for my 
I need something for my health. Uh, kill my satchel real quick. And that big one right there. What are you doing, bro? I hear something in there. See what's happening. It's gonna be a cutscene, and yeah. You boys found my puppies watching. Only if y'all can see my face right now. So confused. Oh my god. Find them. No doubt. Who do you think you are? You low down bastards. Ah, holy hell. Ah, you can hardly see what I'm shooting at. Moves, blast it. Where you at? Where's my shotgun at? I don't have it. You're dead, both of them. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time touch can go and all. What the heck? They're supposed to auto aim where they're at. Oh! They ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. You shouldn't have come here. Oh god. This is so hard because Bro, I do not like this at all. Come on, what's up? I try to block that. Whoa. I punched a mess out of him. I'm fine. I think that's all of them. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. My horse is uh, over there being hungry, so I gotta go to my horse soon. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. So I guess we just loot these guys, or? Come on, let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Oh, we got achievements, sorry guys. Well, uh, wait. I think there might be something in here. Let me turn down this. Sorry, if you heard any background noise. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Why they blowing that whistle? Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that lock. I knew it. Let's just try to back to where we I knew it. it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Me. 
such a dog. Come on, can you go? That's not where we came from? I love how I'm just out in the open. <laughs> I love that. I love how I'm just like right here. If you're not going, I'm going. What? If you're not going, I'm going. I need to feed my horse. His a dust is still here, we're but at once we got Jack. All right, let a cutscene play out, guys. I'll be right back. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte. You're for right. everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. I had to brush him a little bit, guys. Always gotta take care of your horse, man. Since we got this much money, we might as well just buy a little racehorse and see how fast we can go. But I don't know. We can't have a racehorse in the city. <laughs> We're going to be going uh, too fast. Uh, how to get my dead eye back up. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Hey, they're back. I think I seen Jack. We got you, your son. Everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. You got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. I love how she's just like, he, he was like, what's up? <laughs> Can I go play now? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I'm... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. All right, boys. We have done it. I think we're going to end it right here, guys. I'm going to do a couple side missions uh, out to the side. But uh, other than that, guys, I am out. I uh, I am out, guys. I'll see you next video. Uh, other than that, we're, gonna, this is, we're in Chapter 4 right now. Uh, we're here to have some fun. Almost done with the game, guys. Almost. But uh, I'll tell you guys later. I'm out.